there's never been a better time to practice listening to English. Thanks to technology, like my smartphone, uh, it's so easy to access good quality English, like this video. Um, of course, this video is designed uh, to go through the lesson uh, that's in your book, but um, uh, you know, it's just an example of how technology, you know, it, it used to be quite hard. You'd have to buy DVDs or CDs or something. Now, there's so much media all around. Actually, the bigger problem is choosing what to listen to. Um, so anyway, uh, here are three ideas that I got from Cambridge University Press as a suggestion for how to improve your listening if you're learning English. You don't have to do these things, but it's just uh, uh, maybe useful. So, okay, number one, timetable regular practice. In other words, you know, set the time that you're going to listen. Um, it says here, for example, 15 minutes at lunch. Aim for a manageable amount of time which you can dedicate every day to listening to something in English. Don't try and listen to something for, you know, a 90 minute movie. It sounds like fun, but that that for learning, that's a hard thing. 90 minutes is, is too much. And you can't do that every day, maybe once a week. Um, um, so it, it's like any habit. You want to make it easy, and then you can do it. So, you know, if you're learning to draw, do a 10-minute sketch every day. If you're learning to listen, um, you know, uh, uh, schedule, schedule some time in your diary that now, you know, 15 minutes, maybe when you come home from work or from school uh, or at your lunchtime. Uh, but there's a regular time that you always do it. Okay. Well, what should you listen to? Well, that's number two. Expand your range. Everything can help, but you're more likely to be motivated when you're listening to something that interests you or something you enjoy, of course. If you like watching films, that's fine. Uh, but in real life, you don't always see the person you're talking to. Um, so listening to podcasts is a great thing. There's so many, so much free stuff online. Um, you can start with things like BBC or CNN or other news things. I like news things, news reports, because they're very short. But there is a sort of a news style. Uh, Sometimes it's very, I would say, breathless. You know, you must listen to the news. Da, 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 da. It's very dramatic and perhaps too much. Uh, there's so much on YouTube. There's so much, so many things on podcasts and, uh, um, that you can listen to. It, it's almost. I, I don't even want to suggest what you should listen to. Just, just search on YouTube. Find something that you like. Search in English, um, and um, and give it a go. You know, if it's interesting, you have a chance. If it's boring things that you're not interested in, of course, don't listen to that sort of stuff. Uh, the third point is practice in chunks, in in concentrated moments. Uh, focused practice can stretch your ability, can help you learn new words and become familiar with grammar structures and accents. For example, listen to two minutes of a podcast and then rewind and check the understanding and think about the difficult words and then do the next two minutes. So you're doing two minutes at a time of hard work and two minutes of hard work and then rewind to the beginning and listen again. Does that sound like hard work? It does, because it is. Um, if you're trying to expand your vocabulary, uh, just listening to something in the background doesn't really help, but... Uh, some focused practice does. But of course, when you focus, you can't do it for more than a few minutes at a time because it drives you crazy. So uh, these are just some suggestions. Uh, make a daily routine, try different things, find something interesting and do it for short bursts. Okay, that's my recommendation or that's from the Cambridge University Press. I guess I agree. Yeah, you have to do a bit of research to find what you're interested in. Okay, I've got three questions for you. Number one, do you practice listening every day? Why 
or why not? Number two, what topics would you be most interested in listening to? What kinds of things are you interested in listening to? And number three, which of the three suggestions here is best for you? Uh, Timetabling, expanding your range, and practicing in small, focused chunks of time, pieces of time. Have a think and uh, uh, see what you can work out for improving your listening. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you again. Thank you.